Hey, good Thursday morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. We're still watching the risk for some strong storms, but the stuff moving through today is just light to moderate rain. It's not going to be the big deal. It's the back edge. And then this afternoon, as we get some heating, that we have to watch the potential for some strong storms. So here's the system. Did weaken as expected overnight. There are still some pretty gusty winds on the backside. The area of particular interest is honestly the back edge here. This is where we're seeing some of the active weather. It seems weird that we're seeing rain ahead of it, but this is the way the system has been. The, the severe weather has been embedded in the rain, which is kind of an odd setup, but that's where we're looking for some strong or severe storms possibly um, by later this day, maybe later this morning, maybe this afternoon, but look at the front still back here. We could see additional storms develop ahead of the front as well. That's another thing I'm watching is do we get a surge of moisture coming up ahead of that system? that could produce some severe storms this afternoon. So I'll show you the updated severe weather outlook. Um, I'm going to turn off actually the radar here real quick, quickly. We'll turn off the satellite imagery as well. You can see that most of our area has now been kind of upgraded to that medium risk um, as the front pushes east. But I would tell you the primary threat is definitely shifted into this area right in here. So uh, I think the mountains and foothills will be okay. But from Charlotte East, this is the area we'll watch this afternoon. And what is our primary threat? Well, uh, it's still damaging straight line winds. I'll show you the wind threat. Um, the yellow is a 15% probability um, of seeing damaging winds. The tornado threat, it's not zero, but it's about 2%. The green is 2%. The brown down here is 5%. So it's only a 2% probability, which means it's pretty small. Overall, the wind risk, obviously, is by far the highest of all of this. So let's look at the future cast. So you see the line heading our way this morning. We'll go in through time. We'll stop it right around midday because that's when we'll see probably some pretty heavy rain in the main batch of rain. But notice that when we get closer to one, this little area from Charlotte down towards Columbia tries to re-intensify. And I think this is the time frame we need to watch, that noon to 2 p.m. time frame. Do we get things to perk back up? Um, do we see any maybe isolated rotating cells develop there as it pushes east? And you can see by four o'clock, you know, we've got this area on the back side, which seems interesting. But remember, the front is back here, so it's helping to re-intensify these storms. And this is the same time of day. Remember, look at the time here. It's right around 4 o'clock, so we're getting warmer as those push off to the east. And you can see maybe a broken line of, of supercells there by 7 o'clock in eastern North Carolina. So I think that the medium risk is warranted just because that potential is there. Um, but if it's going to happen, it's going to happen this afternoon as the front pushes off to the east. So, you know, what are we looking at as far as the, the, the convective available potential energy, we call it? Let me just show you real quickly. This is where we're at, we're at right now. I'm going to load in the whole model here. And I'll show you as we go into the afternoon. Let me back it up here. You can see it does build a little bit towards the middle of the day. And so thus, right there, this is 3 o'clock, there is some energy. You know, some of these areas of brighter oranges and yellows, these are up in the 1,000 to 1,500 capes. So this is that thunderstorm fuel. There is some energy there for these storms to get a little stronger as we go into the afternoon hour. So let's take a look at some of the other parameters. STP, or what we call significant tornado parameter, you can see eh, pretty low, you know, below zero, below one to zero. But then look at right here in the middle of the day, I'm going to stop this basically right around 12 to 1. You could see some pockets of 1 to 2 as the system pushes east. So there, there's some hints there. There's some better instability right around that midday to early afternoon time frame as that pushes off to the east. Uh, if we look at the basically updraft helicity, the rotating updrafts, um, you could see kind of the same thing, a little batch of possibly some rotating storms right around the middle of the day and then pushing into eastern North Carolina. So there's definitely something there that we got to keep a close eye on. And I think there's a good reason that we've seen basically that, that medium risk upgrade for our area. I think this is warranted based on what I'm seeing. Now, the radar this morning, I'll quickly show you the current radar. Um, you can see on the back side, you know, the initial rain over us is nothing right as velocity data left is um, going to be your um, you know, basic reef activity. You see the band of storms that are developing between Greenville and Anderson, South Carolina. There is some really strong winds in there. So that's kind of what we've seen in the model guidance, that the back side um, is where we're going to see the stronger storms. And if you look today at this hour, here we are, you know, 9 a.m., we are seeing the stronger storms develop on the back side, even though there's light rain way ahead of it. So these winds, again, if you look at the wind speeds here, we'll kind of just drag this in here. You can see we've got some 50, 60 mile an hour winds 
along this line. And those blue boxes, by the way, are just what they call special weather statements. Not a severe thunderstorm warning, but um, basically a heads up. This is a pretty strong thunderstorm. So no cloud to ground lightning yet. That would be the other thing we'd watch carefully as we go into the afternoon hours um, to see how this unfolds. But there's potentially going to be some strong storms this afternoon as the system pushes off to the east. Of course, I'll have updates throughout the afternoon. We've got Brittany, we've got Larry, we've got Chris in, in house right now. We'll keep you weather aware as we go into the afternoon hours. Uh, make sure you have that WCNC app in case we have warnings. We'll stream them right there. You don't have to be home and you'll get those alerts sent right to your phone.